Hey church, uh, if you're joining this devotion this morning, I'd love to encourage you to read 1 Samuel chapter 8 and 1 Samuel chapter 12. Uh, and if you've got time, read the chapters in between them because it'll give you some context as to what I'm going to speak about today. Now in 1 Samuel 8, we pick up the story of Samuel and Saul uh, and Israel are demanding that they want a king. <clears throat> to be appointed and throughout the Old Testament we see a roller coaster journey of faith and miracles from the Israelites. Sometimes their faith unshakable, other times it dwindles to almost nothing. Uh, and two things struck me whilst reading this particular part of their story. The first was that the Israelites wanted to be like everybody else. They were demanding Samuel they wanted a king like the uh, other regions around them a king to rule over them, a king to lead them in battle, a king to, to rule their army, to impose taxes. They wanted a king because everyone else around them had a king. And uh, they stopped focusing on God. It says in chapter 8, verse 5, Now appoint us a king to lead us such as other nations have. Now they stopped focusing on God and started looking at those around them. God never intended this for them. Israel was his holy nation. They were intended to be set apart, to be different. And I can see this in, in us a lot as well. We can often get distracted by those around us. We can look at people who are surrounding us and what they have, and we can want that for ourselves, even when it's not what God wants for us, it's not what he intends for us, it's not the best thing for us. And we can, we can do it so easily. The second thing is that they seem to forget about everything that the Lord had done for them in their entire existence. Uh, and Samuel, in his farewell speech in chapter 12, he reminds them of everything that God had done from saving them from the Egyptians in Moses, all the miracles in the wilderness, giving them the land in Israel. The list goes on and on. His hand had been over them, he blessed them abundantly over those many years but they just seemed to forget all of these things that God had done when they were in this situation. And we can do this as well. We can be so guilty of forgetting. As soon as we get to a difficult circumstance, we can forget all of the times that the Lord has brought us through something, all the times that he's blessed us, carried us, healed us, heard our cries, and, and saved us from things in the past. That all seems to get wiped from our memory and we can get into this habit of complaining and blaming and looking for answers elsewhere, even though we know that God is the only answer that we need. Somehow we seem to forget this every single time. And my encouragement to you today is that we should stay focused on God and not be influenced by those around us. And whatever the world is telling you that you should do or you should say, keep your eyes focused on God. And also remember him in all circumstances and continually thank him for what he's done in your life, for how he's blessed you. And ask him for his help in the situation you're in, ask for his peace, ask for his blessing, because he'll never leave you, he will never forsake you. And it's so important that we don't forget what the Lord has done for us. Don't look for another king in your life like the Israelites did when God is the only king that you'll ever need. I'd love to pray for you, church. Lord, I thank you for Audacious Church. I thank you for everyone who's tuned into this devotion. Father, I pray that you'll bless them. Help them to keep their eyes focused on you, not to be distracted by the things of the world around them. Lord, help them to see that you are the only king that they ever need in their life. Help them to not give this role of king over to anything else of this world and Lord help them to remember everything that you have done for them in the past and, and uh, to thank you for everything you're going to do for them. Amen. Have a great day.